Well, I guess this is going to be the last year this wearing this hat will make any more sense. On to the new conference coming up. What's going on, everybody? Uh, last of the college football series, San Jose State. The one that some of you have been waiting an entire year to watch this video. Uh, San Jose State coming into the third season under Mike McIntyre. Last season in the Western Athletic Conference, or the WAC. Uh, we're moving on to the Mountain West after this season. Uh, amazing, you know, amazing pff, amount of headlines happened in the, this offseason. Let me just break it down for you. Uh, first off, the infamous... Tate Forcier, who never was on this team in the first place, in my opinion. Guy couldn't cut it academically, transferred, he tried to get a job in the CFL, he's not even there anymore. You know, if he can't, he can't be a student, he shouldn't be a player. So I, he was never with this team in the first place. I know a lot of people expected him to be quarterback for this team in the fall, but we moved on from it. The coaching staff did a very good job addressing it. They got David Fales in a quarterback, a Juco. And we'll see what happens. I think David Fales should be fine, at least should, at least well ready for college football. And, of course, the other headline of moving to the Mountain West. Uh, as I've already addressed in a previous video, big headline. I mean, Tom Bowen resigns and takes another job at Memphis to be the athletic director. Suddenly, with an interim director or athletic director, we get an invitation from the Mountain West. San Jose State and Utah State go over to that conference because of Probably the Mountain West was in danger of dying. They lost, I believe, San Diego State and Boise State uh, earlier to the Big East. So, uh, Because of that, San Jose State and Utah State now have a home. Uh, this Western Athletic Conference, who knows what's going to happen. There's only seven teams right now, and I know us two are leaving. Probably Louisiana Tech goes to Conference USA. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen to the, the new Texas schools that have just come in. And then... New Mexico State and Idaho, who knows what's going to happen. I, they're right now on an island stranded as of right now. So, A lot of weird you know, headlines with this uh, with the WAC last season in the Western Athletic Conference. So play up, guys, as the, the conference says. On to this season. Uh, last season, very, very happy with that 5-7 and seven record. I know some of you might be saying, why would I be happy with a losing record? But San Jose State's team improved a lot. Not just more competitive games, but they were able to get over the hump and win games, going 5-7. and seven. Uh, That included wins over teams already in the Mountain West and Hawaii and Fresno State. They could have beaten Nevada, too, if it weren't for a late interception. But the team got better, and there were eight competitive games or, uh, during the year. Maybe you could argue nine that were all decided or, or they were well in within the fourth quarter. Uh, there were a couple... There was a little bit of heartbreak in between with Nevada and Idaho losses, but then... They rebounded well. Uh, they were able to overcome their demons. Hawaii, that was arguably the biggest win since I've been a student. Uh, the win over Hawaii, I was very happy on that one because that's the one team I can't stand. But, uh, enough of me. That this was it was a good season because after that, after they lost to Idaho and and Utah State in heartbreak fashion, they rebounded well, picking picking themselves up against Fresno State and Navy in back to back games. Uh, and they were able to win those close games. I mean, beating Fresno State uh, doesn't happen very often. And uh, pff, it's only happened, I believe, two times in the last 20 years or 22 years. I don't know the exact number, so someone correct me there. But beating Fresno State, uh, if it weren't for 2006 and last year, it, those are the only two times San Jose State's beaten them. So winning last year in Fresno was remarkable. So with that being said, Mike McIntyre got an extension. I think some of it was based off of just the big improvement in wins. And I can't blame him for that there. Uh, I, I say good luck to the, him. I think the defense is a lot more improved. The team is a lot more competitive when you watch them out there. Now it's just getting over that hump and getting some more convincing wins and uh, getting over that hump to get to a bowl game or at least bowl eligible. I know the rules for this conference is a little bit uh, screwy. I believe it's like seven seven teams. You have to win the conference to be guaranteed a bowl game. Otherwise, even if you go seven and five, I don't think you're guaranteed. Uh, the way Western Kentucky was snubbed last year, 
go now to the offense. Uh, the offensive line has to go through a few changes. Uh, a couple seniors graduated last year. It's gonna they're gonna need to run block especially well. Uh, we have Dale Leon Eskridge coming in, transfer from Minnesota. Uh, he's going to be, I think, our starting running back. He'll probably be with Jason Simpson. Shout out to you, by the way, Simpson. Uh, but they will should be, at least the running game is going to need to improve at the goal line. The San Jose State had trouble on those short yardage situations. Uh, they were able to have some nice big runs here and there if you looked at Brandon Rutley's stats. But at the same time at the goal line, they, they needed to get better there. Uh, the receivers should be fine. You got Noel Grigsby. You got a tight end in Ryan Otten, who is very underrated. People don't realize the season he had last year. There's a lot of weapons at receiver, and I'm very excited for the the wide receiver position. Uh, Chandler Jones, another guy. Uh, some of you who saw the Hawaii game know what I'm talking about with Chandler Jones. I expect him and Grigsby to have solid years. Uh, quarterback position, completely off the hook, and uh, at least, sorry, completely different. And uh, David Fails, a, a JUCO who's been practicing with us uh, since the spring. He's probably going to be put in. I don't think Desmond Stewart or Blake Jurich are, are ready to be quarterbacks, but uh, Fails is expected to come and step in there and step in for immediately uh, help in the position. But I think there's a lot of reason for optimism. Uh, the fact that he's experienced and knows what college football is all about, there should be reason that he should be all right. Uh, Matt, you know, even though Matt Faulkner graduated, I can only thank him for providing a clutch gene. Uh, San Jose State was one or two plays away from going eight and four, or they could have been one or two plays away from being one and eleven. They, Faulkner made a huge, huge difference in the clutch uh, last year for us with some fourth quarter comebacks. But I know it's also a team effort, and that that also goes on the defense. Uh, the front seven, you got Travis Johnson up front, a guy who was blocking kicks and being a monster, especially in the second half. I expect a good season from him on defense. Then you got linebacker, you got Vince Bugar and uh, Keith Smith, who uh, solid on the linebacker position. We should be fine in the front seven. But going on to the secondary is where things get interesting. Guys have experience. They've rotated a lot of guys. and McIntyre has put a lot of his guys in and just gotten them experience. You know, win and losing, hasn't. I know it matters, but at the same time, he wanted guys to get experience. So he's put in a lot of bodies, despite not a lot of returning starters in the secondary. The secondary is going to need to be really good very quickly because it, it's the inexperience on paper doesn't look exactly great. But if they could be good in the clutch and get stops, then this team can win games. Uh, there are expectations this year and at least get to a bowl game. And I know the goal, the team goal should be to win the WAC. I know it's, I think San Jose State's the third or second or third choice to win the WAC right now. At Louisiana Tech is the unanimous favorite. There's a there's like one or two teams that could give them fits as well, but San Jose State has the ability to be bowl eligible if they take care of business in games. They were underdogs in the majority of games last year. Now they're not going to be sneaking up on everyone. They need to take care of business against teams they're supposed to. Uh, but yeah, the secondary, it'll be interesting because there's some guys who just don't have the same experience. Well, James Orth and uh, Ronnie Yell, who were both there last year, should. There's They're going to need to be, as I said, they're going to need to step it up play well if they want uh, at least to get stops key stops in the fourth the, the front seven should do take care of business i need to see good pass rushing obviously this team is on the rise and i hope they live up to that hype of how they played last year there was a lot of those games where they were just competitive and you could tell they got better it, some of them didn't turn out to be wins but when you watch the games they were clearly more competitive and not just lying down and getting blown out uh, so the growing pains uh, this is the year I want to see a breakout season. If, if I would be very happy with the 7-5, 6-6 six six record, I know some of you out there, I know if you play for the team, you have high ex higher expectations, but 7-5 and five would be what I'd ask for. You know, Last year I had expectations to win three out of five home games, and they did just that. They even got me two road wins, and fans, two road wins as a bonus, as I've seen on the cake. But uh, what you got to hope the Spartans just got to step it up. This is the last year in the WAC. This is a watered-down conference. You have two newcomers to, that are transitioned to Division One. I. I think it's Texas San Antonio and let me check. I think it's Texas San Marcos. They, they need to, or Texas State San Marcos, something like that. They got to take care of business against those two. Idaho has given us fits. Uh, Utah State has given us fits. They, a couple of close games that have gone our way. Now, at the end of the season, 
it could be deciding the WAC conference. We host Louisiana Tech, a very tough team, to end the year. And if, if San Jose State can take care of business against game teams they're supposed to win against, like they could be deciding the WAC in the last week of the season. Uh, it'd be very, very interesting. But either way, I am expecting a lot of things this year, and I know this team has high hopes. Good luck to the Spartans in the last year of the WAC conference. Good luck to Mike McIntyre and everybody else. Let's go Spartans, and uh, this is my last chance if I want to see them go to a bowl game because I graduate next year. So, see you guys later. Go Spartans.